We are in the middle of a pandemic, but far from reducing the amount, the number of people getting plastic surgery has actually increased. So it's made me think about this question. Does having plastic surgery mean you're insecure and you don't love yourself? Does getting work done make you fake? If I won the lottery, I would go and get every inch of my body nick, tipped and tucked. I want to look like a glamour model on Instagram. Hi guys, I'm Dr. K and I'm back with a video about whether or not getting plastic surgery means you're insecure. This is a different angle to some of the other videos out there, which tend to talk about the pros and cons of plastic surgery. I'm not going to do any of that. There'll be no moralizing here. We are all adults. Well, most of us and we live in a world where we can make our own decisions. But I'll be coming at this topic from a different angle. I'll be looking into body insecurities and the link with plastic surgery and trying to get to the bottom of whether or not you're insecure if you get work done. With all this plastic surgery floating around, more people have been vocal about it and basically saying that anyone who gets plastic surgery must be insecure and don't love themselves. But then we've got just as many people who are arguing that this has no relevance on this topic and this is not the issue. So which side is right? Let's look into it. Number one, this is just human nature. Since the dawn of mankind, we've been drawn to beautiful things and to beautify things. We wear clothes, jewelry, makeup, hairstyles, and we even put effort into making our homes, interiors, and living environments look beautiful and inviting. This brings us joy, and many would say that cosmetic surgery is no different. It just follows this human instinct to customize, beautify, and improve. And that by having cosmetic surgery, it's just following on with this human instinct and it doesn't make us insecure just for doing so. Number two, the basic fact of supply and demand. Cosmetic surgery is now more accessible than ever before. In the past, beauty was just something that was reserved for those who were genetically blessed or those who had enough money to buy it. Now that is no longer the case. We live in the 21st century with improved access to a wider range of cosmetic procedures. And many of these procedures are cheaper than ever before and safer than ever before. You want a thinner nose? Get one. Bigger boobs? Why not? You want to trim 20 inches off your waist? Go for it. So it can be said that all we're doing is just taking advantage of what's now available and making the most of these opportunities to improve ourselves. And there's nothing more to it than that. Number three, singling out cosmetic surgery. Many people who get cosmetic work feel criticized that they get more harshly judged compared to other types of body modification that is also done for cosmetic reasons. For example, what about tattoos? piercings, or even wearing garments like corsets and waist trainers. People don't seem to be as bothered with these kind of things, or even when people naturally change their bodies by losing weight and toning up. It seems as if these other things are perfectly fine and acceptable, but by having cosmetic surgery, people look at you as if you are cheating the system, and people get really up in arms about it, which may seem really unfair. Number four, being insecure is normal. When all said and done, you are still a real person with real feelings, body parts, emotions, and having a certain body part is only one small part of what makes you unique. So it's entirely normal to not like one tiny part of yourself, but still be happy with yourself as a whole. This is something that is common that we can all relate to. We all have a list of things that we'd like to change about ourselves. And being insecure about something doesn't make you an insecure person. Number five, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Society is so cruel to women who are not regarded as being conventionally attractive, especially if you're in the public eye. But then as soon as they get surgery, they're labeled as fake. 
It's a lose-lose situation. And I can think of certain celebrities that come to my mind in this situation. I mean, what do you expect? We bully these people relentlessly with horrible nicknames. We zoom in on their flaws. And then when they decide that they've had enough and go and fix whatever issue it is, we bully them some more for getting surgery. It's like the squid game. Just set up in such a way that you have zero chances of getting out with your life or your sanity intact. Number one, we are all influenced by what we see. It's naive to assume that as human beings, we're not affected by the messages we're being fed by the media and our environment. So you have to question whenever people are adamant that they're 100% not being influenced by anything whatsoever. Are you for real? I mean, do you live in a vacuum? Because that's the only way that can be the case. The truth is we are all influenced from what we have for breakfast to what clothes we wear. In fact, many things that are popular right now are popular just because enough people have liked it. Not because it's particularly groundbreaking or special or unique. So whenever somebody says to me and is adamant that when it comes to the issue of cosmetic surgery, that they're not influenced at all, I'd like to ask him this question. If you were dropped on the planet Zorg, where the idea of an hourglass figure didn't exist because everybody's got eight tentacles and six brains, would you still want to have that BBL? Yes? No? Drop your answer below. So in this case, can you say that this is a decision that is purely being made for you and has not been influenced by anything at all? No, of course not. Number two, can you improve on perfection? While I understand the whole self-improvement angle, the fundamental truth is that if you see the need to enhance something, that means you don't like what it looks like now. Let's be honest. If you were 100% happy with something, you wouldn't feel the need to change it, upgrade it, or tinker with it. Because the very virtue of upgrading or changing something means that there is a deficiency somewhere or that there's something lacking. So in a way, by getting work done, what you're implying is that there's something that needs to be improved, that something isn't quite right and needs to be fixed. It's like going to a Michelin star restaurant and tasting the best dish on the menu and then saying, oh, I think it needs some more salt. You wouldn't do that because if it was as perfect as it is, you would be too busy enjoying your meal, savoring all the tasty flavors, rather than thinking or wondering, oh, I think if it needed more cream. No, number three. An insecurity is still an insecurity. This is to counteract my earlier point in which I said that it's normal to feel insecure about certain things and that doesn't mean that we are insecure people. However, while it's normal to feel insecure about certain things, looking at it from a black and white perspective, an insecurity is still an insecurity. Especially when this is all coming from a negative place a place of lack and insecurity, which then drives us to take risks and make changes to our physical appearance or resort to increasingly extreme measures that may even have fatal consequences. Just because it's commonplace to have some degree of body image hang up doesn't mean we all have to pander to it. And perhaps instead of focusing on these external things, we should look at where this insecurity comes from in the first place and address that. Number four, quick fix culture. At the risk of sounding like an old person. In my day, people didn't expect quick fixes and understood that all good things took time, effort and consistency. Okay, rant over, I'm done. But nowadays, it's all about this instant gratification and quick dopamine hit. Whenever we have a problem, we look for a fast and straightforward fix. And bish bash bosh, Bob's your uncle, there's a solution, problem solved, and we can all live happy ever after. I blame Disney and the generic hero story trope for 
this. As a doctor, I often have to tell my patients that real life isn't like that. The reality is that many problems have multiple causes and there's often no clear reason why certain things are the way they are. And life can be unfair. I mean, that's why I'm only five foot two instead of the six foot glamour zone I am inside my head. Why this long rant? Because people carry over this simplistic thinking into body image issues. Here's a typical example. We have girl A and girl A thinks, oh, the reason I'm so unlucky in love or I have poor self-esteem is because of my crooked nose or my love handles. Girl A then goes on a mythical quest to fix the problem, i.e. she gets a nose job or a BBL. And voila, all her problems are gone. Except they're not. They're still there. And only this time she thinks, well, since that didn't work, maybe I need to go for round two of my BBL or I need to fix something else for this to work. And so the cycle continues. It's seen as a fast track to confidence and body positivity, but unfortunately, there are no such things as quick fixes, not when it comes to your health and body image. So let's go back to my original question. Does having plastic surgery make you fake? The answer to that is clearly a no. Well, not exactly. There are many reasons why people get cosmetic treatments, whether it's to be part of a peer group, to feel accepted within a culture, for career or social progression, or just to improve your dating and romantic prospects. However, we also need to be honest with ourselves and appreciate that very rarely do we make decisions in isolation. There are lots of things that influence us to make certain decisions. There is definitely a link between negative body image body dysmorphia and the rise in cosmetic procedures. And unfortunately, this link is increasing and carries potentially negative consequences. No matter what the reason is, the only correct answer is because you want to do it and not because of or for someone else. So what do you guys think? This whole topic of body insecurity and cosmetic surgery is a very popular topic and I'm sure you've got something to say. Well, why not drop a line below and let me know what you think. And whilst you're down there, you might as well consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing. Why not get comfortable and check out the next video I've got lined up and I'll see you next time.